Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to calibrate the uh, 202 series in dash digital gauge. Make sure you configure the scale before you calibrate it, um, otherwise your calibration data will be lost. You're going to need to calibrate the scale both empty and loaded using a certified scale ticket. Here we will use the uh, 202 DDG02 uh, with two air inputs. We will have sensor 1 on the drive axle group and sensor 2 on the trailer axle group. All right, so now we're going to go into the wrench icon. I'm going to select calibration. And then you're going to select the uh, axle group that you want to calibrate. So we are going to select the drive axle group. So we're going to start with the empty weight. Uh, get a certified scale ticket uh, for the drive axle group for your empty weight. Do not use known weights or tire weights for this. The truck must be empty. The certified weight must be taken at the time of calibration. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and turn off the parking brake. When you are ready to calibrate the empty weight, press the empty button. The scale will ask you if you want to enter new data, press yes. Enter the empty weight to match the scale ticket for the drive axle group. Uh, in our case, we're going to use 8,000 pounds. All right, then hit enter. The scale will ask to save the data as the new empty calibration. Press yes. Continue to enter other empty weights for axle groups that are connected to the scale. So now we're going to go into trailer A. So in our case, our empty weight for trailer A will be 8,000 pounds. So we'll go into empty. You're going to hit, want to hit yes. Type in 8,000. And enter. Again, it's going to ask if the calibration data is correct. Hit yes. And now we have trailer A calibrated. Now we are ready to calibrate the loaded weight. Uh, remember to get a certified scale ticket for the different axle groups. Again, do not use known weights. The truck must be loaded and the certified weight taken at the time of calibration. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and turn off the parking brake. So now I'm going to have you uh, calibrate the loaded drive weight. So we're going to go into drive. You're going to click the loaded button. And then again, it's going to ask if you want to enter new data. You're going to go yes. So be sure to enter the weight that matches your certified uh, scale ticket. In our case, it's going to be 12,000 pounds. And they click that in. Then we'll hit enter. It's going to ask you if you want to save the calibration data. We do. Hit yes. Now you've calibrated your loaded drive axle group. So now we are ready to do the loaded weight for trailer A. I'm going to hit over. Push trailer A. We're going to hit loaded. It's going to ask if you want to enter new calibration data. Hit yes. And now we're going to put in the certified scale weight, uh, loaded scale weight. And in our case, it's going to be 28,000 pounds. And click that in. You're then going to hit enter. It's going to ask you if you want to save the calibration data. Hit yes. And now you have your trailer A loaded weight calibrated. Once you've entered both empty and loaded weights, the scale is ready to be used. Please visit our website for more information.